I'm going to put into effect the Allman Classifieds PHP script, which does use a single MySQL table. Before even getting the script, knowing that I was going to need a MySQL database, I went into my hosting plan on DreamHost and I created a new database, which I was going to use just for this test purposes. That required giving this database a name, creating a host name for it, and creating a user. I created a temporary user and a password. We'll need that so that we can connect to the database and update it with the information. And then that database is now created. And I did a little hunting online and came across Almond's Classifieds. And it's a PHP script for managing classified ads that you might want to put on a website. They have a number of different versions. I went for a free version, then one of the two demo styles. I thought it was going to be pretty easy to manage and upgrade or to, to modify to fit the look of your own website. Now I've already downloaded that particular script. Here's the zip file that I downloaded from them. And I'm going to right click on this, go ahead and extract all, and then finish. So these, these are the files involved in running this script. The readme file is a text file with some instructions. I've already opened this up and uh, printed it out for easier reference while I go along with this. But if you wanted to look at it while you were working here, right click, and I'll go ahead and open it in Notepad++. So now I've got the readme file opened up and ready to go and ready to go through the, through the procedure. Now I also need to prepare to publish some files. So I'm logged into my FTP server and I've got my host set up, ralph.cocc-webdev.com and I've already created a subfolder in there called Ralph Ads where I can work for this test. Here's my Allman Classifieds free folder and these are the files. Right away, even though I know I'm going to have to republish uh, an occasional file here and there, I'm going to go ahead and select all of these files and publish them to my server. Now that those are published, I'm going to start to read through the directions. And I see, and this is pretty normal for any PHP script, it's going to use MySQL, but we're going to have to manage some things. So let's kind of go through the directions and I'll check them off as I go here. So unzip your loaded zip file. Did that already. Configuring your web server. Now, let's see. Step one says, create a new directory under the HTML directory of your web server where photo files and files where more detailed ad info will be kept. So with this particular script, people who submit ads can also submit a photo with their ad. So this would store those. So basically, I want to create a photo subfolder in my, in my uh, host in my account and I'm gonna go ahead and give that a 777 Unix permission okay I'll take care of that at FileZilla here I'll go ahead and right click create a new directory call it photos then I'll right click on that new directory go to file attributes and I want to give that 777 status there we go that's read write and, per, uh, read, write, and uh, execute for the owner the group and the public okay now that folder's been created, so back at my notes here, that's been done. Steps two. Now setting up the config.php file. Most companies and individuals who write these free PHP scripts are really pretty good about uh, documenting what you need to change and what you don't want to change and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the config.php file. Now I don't have it opened right now, but here's my folder. There's my config.php. I'll right click and I'll open that in Notepad. And here it is. Now, this is pretty normal here. You need to get some database information. So, my database is called Ralph Ads. My host is called Ralph Ads DB. Ralph. COCC webdev.com. The database username is Ralph Ads and my password. Ralph adds pass. While testing out any of these scripts, it's good just to make up a temporary username and password just so you can make sure it works and things like that. And it's also good to make up a unique username and password for every single database script that you might be working with. So no need for one password to be able to access many of your databases. Now a couple other things. The name of your database table for ads. I'll go ahead and leave it at the default name. Um, that's pretty descriptive there. So um, that's okay. 
Set the base path of the directory where photos will be kept. Since I followed their advice and just used a photos subfolder within my main folder, then that's all I need to do. So I don't have to ch make any changes here. And I'm going to scroll through a little bit. A lot of these things we can keep at their default. So if you don't know what something does, just keep it at the default. And of course, the notes will probably give us more information if we need to. We could always go back to that README text file right over here and kind of follow through. It does give us little tips about some of the key categories. But I'm over here, and it looks like I've taken care of all the database category stuff for the config.php file. Ah, so now I see the different. Um, categories for the ads. Now this particular script can be used for different kinds of ads. It can be used for personal ads if you want to set up a dating website, um, or it can be set for sales ads and things like that. So with simple changes you can create a customized classified ads depending on what categories of topics you wanted people to, to exchange information on. So I see they have a section here titled Affair, and they have all the categories for finding dates. Well, I'll go ahead and change some of these to there. I've customized some category names for this, uh, or subtopics, for this one set. All right, so I've made some changes. Let me go ahead and save this. Jump back over to FileZilla, and since I've only changed my config.php, I'll drag that over. Now, according to the README directions, let's see here. I've set up the config.php file. Now, there's more directions in here than what I can do. I have the free version of this script, and it doesn't have all the same features that they mention here, so the directions are quite long, even though I haven't made a lot of changes. And I'm at this other section now, set up the MySQL database parameters. Now, I've taken care of that. That was all part of the config file. I'm just kind of looking through this. Everything seems to be pretty straightforward create the MySQL database. Now I've already created a database however I haven't created the table that's supposed to really contain all of the data. Now since I've got the table created or since I've got the database created I see that it says after configuration start your web browser and go to create tb.php script. So since I've Pub I've changed and published my config.php file, I should be able to follow their advice. Basically, they want me to run this script, which will create a table in my database. Just as a reminder, this is my database, and currently there are no tables in my database. Create tb.php. Okay, now it brings up their create table script. Yes, I do want to create a table called ALM23. Okay. The table was created. So I should be go able to go back to my PHP my admin for my MySQL database, reload this, and I see that I now have one table in my database called ALM23. And this table has been created with all of the necessary fields that I'll need for this particular script to function perfectly. Well, I think we're actually doing pretty good. So I'm going to jump back over to my web page, and instead of going to a specific PHP script, I'll just go to the root, which is going to take me to index.php, and this is the main web page here. And as you can see, I've got my classified ads. Here's my affair category, and it's got the labels that I just typed in. Shoes looking for feet, dogs looking for treats. Okay. Now this part's pretty easy. Let's say I would like to add and put in a new ad. I'll go to shoes looking for feet. I see that there are currently no ads in this category. There's a link for post new ad. I'll click that link and I'm going to type in some basic information. So this allows me to fill out an ad. So I filled out all the information that had a little red asterisk um, and edit delete password. So the person who creates the, the, uh, the ad also has the ability to edit and delete it and only that person can do so. I'm going to go ahead and submit a photo with this ad too. Okay, This is going to be my ad. So I should be able to go back to shoes looking for feet category. There's now an ad listed in there. Name Sally Shoe, and if I click on details, I'll get to that ad. Great. Now, if I click on the top link, it takes me back to the main page, and I see the category Shoes Looking for Feet now has one ad updated February 26. This is the config PHP file, and sure enough, here's the header section with the HTML tag and the head section. So certainly you could put in your own link tag to your CSS file to take care of a lot of this formatting for you. So this script is pretty easy to put into place and will probably serve you well if you wanted to put some basic classified ads capability on your website.